What's going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Lockdown Coverage. And when I mean exciting, I mean free agency, like what the hell? Free agency is all over the place. This video specifically is gonna be Miami Dolphins breakdown. I will get to league-wide news and free agent news and uh, team grades and team contract grades. I'm gonna get to that in the next video. But for now, I'm gonna be doing Miami Dolphins breakdown. What a day for the Miami Dolphins. They signed key players all across the board, continuously signing free key players all across the board. They just announced another player. I'll get to that in a second. But wow, we have over 90 million in cap space. I did not expect the Dolphins to actually go after big names in free agency. I thought they were going to go after mid to mid tier players that are good, better than mid tier, honestly, and young with upside. That I anticipated. That was how we started free agency. But wow, the moves that we made, I'm very surprised. Let's get into it right now, actually. The biggest splash that the Dolphins made was probably one of the best free agents, if not the best at his position, is Byron Jones, cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys. What a player. I can't believe we signed him to a huge extension. Five years, $82 million, $82.5 million. I think he will be worth it. Now the Dolphins have solidified their secondary. Their corners are Byron Jones and hopefully staying healthy, Xavier Howard. That is the best, the best one-two cornerback duo in the league. Where the hell are you gonna throw the ball if you're the other, the opposition? I don't understand. We're paying them high money. They better be playing. Hopefully none of them get injured. Byron Jones has no history, but the Dolphins, it makes sense for the Dolphins. The Dolphins played over 60% of man coverage last year that is fourth highest in the league so it makes sense byron jones he's a bump and run type corner he's fast he's athletic even though he doesn't have that many interceptions throughout his career it's because people don't throw the ball that way whatever side he's on the opposite the opposite side of the field gets all the the all the coverage all the contested again that's why our channel is called lockdown coverage <laughs> because that's what byron jones is he's a lockdown corner love the signing that is the biggest spot you made in free agency other than that news that broke recently literally 10 minutes ago after recording this was emmanuel ogba he is a defensive end for the kansas city chiefs some of you may not have heard him he he got drafted by the browns he was a second round pick so he is athletic He's a good defensive end. He brings depth and versatility to, to a much needed group who we just signed. And I'm going to get to that in a second, but he's a good player. Two years, $15 million, seven and a half million guaranteed. So even if he's not good, we can move on to him, move on from him with little to no cap casualty, dead money. That is the second signing we made. The third one that we have is Kyle Van Noy, ex New England Patriots player. Now, he signed a four-year, $51 million guaranteed. Big contract, big raise. Last year, he was making $6.5 million. I think he deserves it. In 2018, when the Patriots won the Super Bowl, he played. He was one of the leaders of that team. He had almost 100 tackles. He had four sacks. He had a pick. He had a lot of assists as well, tackling. He is a great player. He's versatile. He fits his Brian Flores scheme. I'm not surprised if he got a Patriots player because Brian Flores was obviously on the Patriots, defensive coordinator. That's why their defense was so good in my opinion, but we need that versatility. Calvin Noy could do everything. He could rush the passer, he could play linebacker, and he could cover. Great pick for the Dolphins. Not surprised at all. I think he deserves that money. He's also 28. He's He'll be older at the end of this contract, but I think it's still worth it. Good money to spend on a linebacker. Another player we got was Shaq Lawson from the Buffalo Bills, another defensive end, more player in the trenches. That's what we need. More players in the trenches equal more wins in my opinion. That's where you win football games. Shaq Lawson signed a three year, $30 million deal and it's filled with incentives. So I'm assuming the incentives are if we make the playoffs, he makes more money. If he gets over probably 10 sacks or eight sacks a year, let's say he makes more money. The incentives include 
uh, six million dollars specifically so it could be a three year uh, 36 million dollar deal in total which is good money for a player who only got six and a half sacks but what people don't understand is that he was great against the run he was probably a top 15 edge defender against the run which is what we need our rush defense suck last year was pathetic him and christian wilkins and emmanuel akba and kyle van Noy should definitely make our defense much improved the last key player we got in free agency is eric flowers yes eric flowers i can't believe he actually got signed he got signed a three-year 30 million dollar deal no one thought that he would be good anymore i remember on the giants he couldn't guard anything he couldn't he literally couldn't guard a baby he was awful and now look at him he leaves uh new york he ends up going to washington plays a mate they move him over from tackle to guard ends up being a top five guard in the league last year according to pro football focus according to pro football reference all these all these fbi all these all these metrics say that he's an amazing guard and he played really good at guard a lot of people and I, I expected myself that he would return to the redskins and they would offer him a big contract but the dolphins stole him away people think it's a bad signing but i love it personally i think he will start at guard for the dolphins as well but he's played tackles so if we need an emergency tackle i like that too he has a little bit of versatility but he, he, his best position is guard he's a massive body he didn't play well when he got drafted he was young he's still only 25 years old he's just now learning how to be a professional i don't blame him he's still really young love the dolphins picks love who the dolphins got in free agency i'm sure we'll keep hearing a few lower at this point a few lower tier players but they did an amazing job we still i just checked we still have a projected 57 million dollars in cap so it's not like we've spent all of it we spent about half and we have over $15 million in dead money, which will transfer over to next year. Dolphins doing an amazing job. I love what Chris Greer is doing. He said that if there's players that are on the table that they like, this isn't a three-year rebuild. If there's players that they like, they're gonna go and spend the money. I don't blame them. We got great players, great players that fit the Dolphins scheme. I'm sure uh, Brian Flores is happy with what Chris Greer has given him so far. So let's continue this. I will do Dolphins updates later on in the future, probably if they get a few more free agents and also anticipating for the draft. It was also announced that the draft isn't getting rescheduled. So it's still gonna happen on April 23rd to the 25th. Just no fans in Vegas because of this stupid coronavirus. Hopefully you guys stay healthy and stay out, stay out of sight. Uh, be careful out there. It's, it's kind of scary what's going on right now. But if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. More dolphin stuff's coming. So thank you guys. Appreciate it.